Hi there and welcome to my third tutorial on HTML. Last time we covered a few basic tags to get us started like headlines, the paragraph tag and the line break. This time we are going to cover a few more basic tags because right now we just don't know enough to make a web page. So this time we will look into some tags that give explicit directions about rendering text such as bold and italic and a few more. So let's get started. We want uh, to start out now with the, the tag for bold, which um, highlights text. My name is Goethe Festa, and I currently live in Norway. I want my name in bold, and the tag for bold is a B, angle brackets like this and then we have to close this tag with the slash like that and let's see if that came out F5 to update and my name is now in uh, bold a good way to remember this is that uh, word processors uh, using the English language, like uh, if you use Microsoft Word, uh, if you want something in bold, uh, you'll have the letter B there for bold, and the same thing in, in italics, it will be the letter I, uh, also underline will be the letter U, so it's quite easy to remember some of the tags that you will be using in HTML. And uh, now let's um, take a look at the uh, italics. I have lived in the United States for many years. Yeah, that's good. And I want United States to be in italics. So I'll use the I like this and then we'll end it like that now we're gonna save it but what's gonna happen now is what we learned in the last tutorial we have no line break here so let's see how it just comes out So let's do that let's put in a line break here like that save it and the line comes underneath and you see here now United States is in italics and we can also uh, of course do that in the same sentence like that. So that's how we use uh, bold and uh, italics as uh, tags. And uh, let's do the underline tag just so we have uh, covered it. I think Italy is a beautiful country and we are going to underline Italy and that we do with the tag U for underline like this and we close it like that and you see Italy now is underlined but uh, I would advise you not to use the underline and the reason for it is uh, that uh, a lot of people are going to look at it as uh, a link to another page which it is not. So try to stay away from the underline but we have now covered it. There are times where you want to use both the bold and italics tag at 
the same time for a word or text and we're gonna try that out my name is Goethe and nobody in the United States can pronounce it and right now we want Goethe in both bold and italic so we start out with the bold tag and we include an italics tag here and then we have to end these tags and this is called nesting it means that we are using multiple tags and what is important to remember is that we have to nest properly there are rules to follow and basically it means that we have to close the tags in the reverse order we open them so right now we want to close the first one which is the italics tag like this and then we want to close close the bold tag like this and when we save this and update the browser you can see that Goethe now is uh, in bold and italic at the same time and it doesn't matter if uh, bold or italics come first here we can also have italics first and then bold but what we now have to remember is that we have to close them in the re reverse order which means we have to close the bold and then the italic and that should make this exactly the same when we update here yes it does we can of course change this a little bit around I have already taken away the tags we used previously but let's say my name I want name starting in bold here like this and then I want uh, from and nobody I want in both bold and italic so so far name is Goethe will be in bold and it continues here in bold and italic and nobody and then I want to end the italics here like this in the US I want that also in bold like that and let's see what we're coming out with my name is Goethe is in bold and nobody in the United States is also in bold but in between here and nobody is in bold and italics which means we have to nest it correctly we have started with the bold we have continued with the italics and then in reverse order we have an end tag for the italics and an end tag for bold now let's try to nest this sentence wrong so we'll start with uh, our uh, bold tag and italics tag but instead of doing it in the reverse order let us close this one with bold and this one with italics so you can see it's not nested correctly by the rules now let's save it update and you see name is Goethe is in bold as should be and nobody is also in bold and in italic but the rest of it is not you have in the US here in italic but there is no bold here so this is wrong and some browsers might pick it up and do it correctly for you but you never know so nesting is very important